Yeah, it's another little circuit I've been working on. It's a, a 555 timer chip in there. Uh, there's a couple of um, IRF840 MOSFETs just sat there. And uh, that there, so I can adjust the frequency. I think this is a, it's a stable month ago break to think and anyway so what we got basically is if I just uh, connect onto my uh, my power supply we got ourselves a, another power inverter and you can see frequency there the inverter and non-inverted square wave outputs there's a little bit of a difference on the voltages probably have to mess around with the resistors a little bit but as you can see the uh, the average and the uh, maximum so they're pretty close so there's nothing on the uh, the MOSFETs at the minute so but I did leave it on oh uh, yeah I can tell they're just they're not cold if I touch them they're not cold but they're not they're not warm by any any stretch of the imagination but then I wouldn't expect so uh, I expect that my actual power supply over here which is being pulled down from 11 volts uh, it's, it's probably feeling the brunt more than <laughs> more than these MOSFETs so uh, I can make the bulb a little bit brighter that's only a 6 watt it's a 6 watt um, 50 60 hertz bulb there nothing special I did try uh, my tungsten 40 watt bulb but it really didn't like it when I turned it up to a uh, 14 and a half volt yeah but really that's pushing that 555 timer to the limit I think what we need to do is split up the power so we've got power to the timer and separate that off and rather powering these MOSFETs with the same power or goes to the timer have a different uh, have a different power for that I did um, this is a mi uh, uh, I think I've said it already but if I didn't this is a bit of a, a, miss, a mix and match from three other um, dual MOSFET 555 timer circuits because I was struggling trying to get the frequency um, and so on my one I got the 840s the IRF 840s I got a 2222 two, 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 the 2N2222 two two, 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 two transistor here uh, which just stops them both from switching on and off at the same time when one's on this one's on uh, this pulls the other one basically down to ground and then when that one goes off that one comes on it's far what I understand works. I've got to use a. This is 80 nanofarads here. Um, there's, a, um, there's a 47 and a 33. Because I couldn't. They're, they're just trying to get the frequency down. Because uh, it kept sitting, you know, sort of 60, 64. Trying to get it down to 50 hertz. And the range between sort of like, you know, sort of 50 and 60 hertz is fine. But. Um, no, yeah, but it but it works. It works, and I hope that you've managed just to see everything, and that I wasn't poking the camera, you know, <coughs> up at the sky or something. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I think the my toroid there is probably a bit heavy duty for this, but that's the only one that I've got which has got two um, twelve volt secondaries on it. Um, the other little transformer I've got has only got nine volt secondaries on it. And and the other toroid that I have has got 24 volt secondaries on it, so, so it seems like a bit of an overkill. It's absolutely silent like that, can't hear a thing. I've not tried other bulbs on it, such apart from the one tungsten which I mentioned, and that didn't really work very well. But this seems to be okay, like that. I suppose if I was ever in a fix, I had all these parts with me. I'd be able to build something to get out the fix. Anyway, 
I'm going to class that as a bit of a success. I may work on it a bit more. I may try different, um, yeah, just different configuration of components, slight differences, see what differences they make. I do realise that I can't, um, there's not a lot I can do with frequency anymore because I've spent hours trying to get exactly 50 hertz um, and the voltages on these to, to keep these balanced. Um, that's all going to stay where I've, where I've got it to now. Um, but I will draw up a schematic of what I've used. I do appreciate that you know everyone's going to be slightly different on these things. Uh, and I'll put it into the description. It, probably, it may not be tonight, but it will be in the next day or two that I'll do that uh, before I tear it down. So anyway, if you got this far, cheers for watching guys, and uh, talk to you soon.